Mole crickets are special fossorial insects that can reach up to 5 cm in length when fully developed. They have small eyes relative to their body and a pair of highly developed forelimbs that they use extremely efficiently for burrowing. Their distribution range is very wide and can be found throughout the world and in many regions they are considered agricultural pests. Mole crickets go through incomplete metamorphosis, also known as hemimetabolism, which consists of three life stages, eggs, nymphs, and adults, or imago stage. About one to two weeks after the mating, the female starts laying eggs. She burrows into the soil to a depth of between 30 and 70 centimeters and lays a clutch of 25 to 60 eggs. The eggs must be laid in moist ground and many nymphs end up dying because of insufficient moisture in the soil. They spend most of their life underground, but adults are also capable of flying and disperse that way during their breeding season. Their diet is varied, some species are herbivores, mainly feeding on plant roots, while others are omnivorous, so they eat both plants and animals, which can include worms and grubs. Only a few of them are predatory. Another distinctive characteristic is this special, extremely loud song that adult male mole crickets can produce. They sing in burrows that are shaped just like an acoustic horn. This has the effect of maximizing the efficiency with which the sound waves they produce are transferred to the air. The males use this sound to attract females, either for mating or for signaling that favorable conditions are present for them to lay their eggs. Females are apparently able to determine whether a male is calling from a wet or a dry site and they definitely prefer damp locations to deposit their eggs. There is one species that can produce about 200 pulses of sound per second which results in a continuous song. Their size and appearance can vary greatly, but most of them are around 3 cm long. Their cylindrical body is covered with tiny, fine hairs that is well adapted to life underground. The head, the prothorax and the forelimbs are heavily sclerotinized, which makes them rigid, in contrast to their abdomen, which is quite soft. The wings are flattened over the abdomen and can even cover the tip of it. The forelimbs that they use for digging are flattened but their hind legs somewhat resemble the legs of a true cricket, which is mainly used for pushing soil. In their native habitats, where they have a lot of natural enemies, they are not considered pests, but in regions where they have been introduced, they can turn into a serious agricultural problem. The main damage that they do is via their burrowing activities. The small tunnels they create in the upper layer of the soil increases the evaporation of surface moisture, it also disturbs germinating seeds and damages the seedlings of young roots. Their predators include birds, toads, insectivorous mammals, wolf spiders and assassin bugs for example. They also have to face a number of parasitic organisms, which include parasitoid wasps. For example, females of the genus Lara is known to attack mole crickets, where they lay eggs on the external surface of their body. You should check out Andrei Surakov's images in a publication. He managed to capture the entire process, which is super fascinating. The link to the study will be in the description. Another parasitoid species, which is an endoparasitoid, is the Brazilian red-eye fly, whose larvae hatch from the eggs inside their abdomen. The last interesting fact that I wanted to share with you is that in some countries, such as Vietnam or the Philippines, they are also used as food. In some parts of Thailand, they are also considered delicacies and are eaten fried, along with some sticky rice. Yum! Thank you so much for joining me on this educational macro adventure. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, and you might also want to check out these next.